The first match ended in three games. Well, the second one is going to have three players for each team. Alligator Soar is back for the second match of the night here on LOS Champs. For some Thursday Night Rocket League, we have Ohio Midlads versus Bozos. Got some fun names there. I promise not to try to call you guys Bozos. Stuff happens. You kind of set yourself up for it. I mean, let's just kind of come on. But it should be a good one. Like I said, 3v3. We're coming in for that tier five matchup. So a little bit higher ranked than the one we saw before and the one that we'll see to finish off the night. But excited to see how it goes and kind of see how the game changes compared to the earlier series. So waiting for the folks to get into the lobby. But in the meantime, Ohio Midlads are made up of It's Kyle of Varso, Wave, and DJ Candy. Bozos represented by Ajax, Renix, and Schnefsky, with uh, Ajax and Renix both on the roster as coaches. So Schnefsky getting all of the information around everybody and <laughs> trying to figure out what to go on with it. But it should be interesting. These are all players, again, folks that we're familiar with from ages past and times gone. Ajax have known for quite some time. The Ohio folks, of course, they they got me the last time I casted them. I totally fell for the Oahu and uh, Cookies laughs at me, but he laughs at me every time I do anything on a microphone. So and I kind of set myself up for that. So looking forward to seeing a good one. So like I said, a little bit more higher pace. We're in that 3v3 in that tier five tier. We'll double check how everything is looking. We are getting players hopping on into the lobby. So should be pretty decent. We're looking at that 1340 to uh, 1450 MMR. So a little bit higher ranked. We are getting up into that high champ if I have my numbers in my head correctly. And who knows how that goes. So <laughs> it's looking at that like champ two, champ three level of gameplay. So expecting to see again some solid mechanics coming out, some decent rotations. And it's going to be who puts them together more consistently. And that is just a huge key to getting better at Rocket League and advancing through the ranks in any facet. So let's see who puts it together. And what better place to put yourself to the test than LOS champs? Instead of grinding ranked, you can grind through the tournaments, grind through the weekly matches. And one of the leagues that I play in myself. So I also uh, vouch very heavily for it. So like I mentioned, players are getting in. Just double checking that connections are fine and such. So as we're looking through everything, uh, looking to make sure it's good. We are still waiting on one. I'm just going to double check who it is. I'm not going to call them out by name, but I might call them out by name. So <laughs> it'll be pretty good. Like I said, just waiting on one. So second matchup of the night, folks who missed the first one. It was a very close match, that 2v2 match between No Toxicity Gaming and Latin 7 Creators, ending only in three, but only one goal differences throughout. A well-fought one. And we're looking for another well-fought match here as well. The final player is in the lobby. I wasn't going to name names, but it was Wave who was the last one in. So we'll get this game going. Get game number one underway here for the second matchup of the night for LOS Champs Season 2. Everybody's in the lobby. Everybody's in the game. Let's get down there with them, see how this match shakes out. As mentioned, going to be looking to see more of the higher mechanics. Some team plays coming out as well. One of the highlights of the first match of the day was the downfield pass redirect. I'm anticipating at least several attempts for something similar. You get three players on each side of the pitch. It's so much more enticing. You see somebody upfield leaking out. They grab the midfield boost, just launch it with the half volley, try to see what can go with it. but. You never know. I mean, Ajax saying cozy Ajax today, maybe he just wants to curl up, go calm with it, not try to overexert too much as he hangs back in the midfield and Renix bringing it across said line. Renix is going to be challenged immediately by Wave, so Wave not missing a beat once he got into the lobby. And he'll keep this nil-nil through the first minute again. Best of five matchup, so there's a little bit of time to make adjustments. Not too terribly much. Obviously, if you can come out swinging, that's going to likely prove to be better for you in the long run. So far through the first 70 seconds, we remain scoreless. Only one shot on the board so far. But depending on how this bounces, Renix might be able to add something to the stat. But it will instead bounce back. Now, wave. Now that's going to be a power one. The only one back is Schnefsky. 
And we'll keep it low past the first wave, challenging midfield. Renix taking control of the ball, needs to wrap it around past the wave. Will just sneak off the front of the car, so could not quite get it on. And Schnefsky, that's going to be a dangerous one, but gets the bounce off the post to throw off the offense as well. Schnefsky up over to Renix. We're going to go for the passing plays. Varso up quick, not caught sleeping there in defense. Schnefsky cutting off wave. A lot of very aggressive challenges coming out so far. Not too terribly surprising. We are getting into those ranks where players are starting to play faster. They like to jump for it. Not necessarily the sea ball touch ball, but they do like to be a little bit more aggressive. They do like to find each other in a team environment as well. Schnefsky to the side, to the air, drops it down. Renick says, hey, I see it. wave attacking. I see an opening. I see a way to take the lead. And Bozos are going to go ahead and strike first. No clowning around for them. They will have to get back on defense here to start off the second possession and a little bit of a nail biter. They do work their way through Ajax. Call it getting the fake on Navarso. They will have to do a little bit more though. DJ Candy trying to get it centered. Wave will have plenty of boost to work with. Flips into position. Renix challenge. Schnevsky downfield. This one will go just off that near side back wall. Both teammates going back for boost so they weren't able to get up for the immediate follow. And Wave will take this one all the way downfield. It's Renix trying to get a leak out. A lot of boost. Great aerial control coming out from Renix. So all of the defenders were waiting for that one to fall to turf, waiting for someone to follow up, and Schnevsky is waiting for the opportunity to strike. As we see another goal going in for the Bozos. This time, Ajax lobbing it up onto the back wall, taking out an opponent and setting up Schnevsky to drop the hammer and see the celebration fly. Now up two with two minutes left. The offense suddenly exploding here for the Bozos. They only had one shot through the first two minutes of gameplay. They're now registering five in the ensuing minute. They're finding their opportunities up. So Ohio Midlands, they're going to be looking to hold on to possession a little bit more, start registering some of the shots and forcing Bozos back. But instead, we are going to get the leak out. Renix does not have the boost. Renix does not care. he will hit the near side wall, but it will force the defense to hesitate for the merest of moments before Ohio Midlads can get it back across that midfield, but we'll go back on defense again. Wave challenged by Renix, bouncing back over for Varso to make something of it. A lot of players up in the air looking to try to get that early read, trying to make the play that gets it past the opponent. Schnefsky will wrap around from the corner. The corner proving to be effective throughout the night. Cozy Ajax says, I'm just going to take it straight off the wall, try to set up a teammate here for rotating back for some boost. Schnevsky, a thorn in the side of the defense, continuing to challenge and force Ohio Midlads back. Again, they have not spent too much time up in the offensive half. They've registered a shot. They have been getting close. They've been threatening. They've just been held back so long. Renix to Schnevsky, looking to get the follow-up. Low boost, gets the steal. The wave on the back wall trying to get it past Renix. Cozy Ajax challenge will go off to the side as well. So 20 seconds left. Bozo still holding on to the two-goal lead. We'll have a little bit of breathing room, lest DJ Candy able to get something here. Renix too quick. Ajax there as well. This one just might work out really well. DJ Candy trying to keep it out, but Schnefsky puts it back in from beyond the grave. Schnefsky picking up a second goal. DJ Candy trying to bounce it up high, but getting stuck between the bottom of the Fennec, the top of the crossbar. You know, drop out in front of the net. So game number one, going to go the way of the Bozos. I promise not to call you guys Bozos, and you've got winning ways like this. It'll be difficult to uh, play too many puns with the name, but a three-goal victory in game number one. As they head through into game number two and a huge advantage on the offense for Bozos. I mean, 10 shots to one. Ohio Midlands, they got a little bit of a push early in the game. After that, Bozos kind of taking control of the pressure and really just forcing Ohio back, kind of cycling. 
trying to figure out how are they going to get up into offense? How are they going to push? Kind of caught between the middle. Are they the Midwest? Are they the Appalachians? They don't know. But once they figure out their identity, they'll be able to start pushing it forward. And I do think that they're going to get a good bounce back here in game number two. Again, those highlights, the solid spots looking very good for this squad. It's just getting it together and getting it past that midfield pressure from the Bozos. And if, again, if the Midlands can do it, it's going to look a lot better for them. But that's all going to come up in game two. So that 3-0 win for the Bozos in game one of this best of five series. Head off over to game two, see if the change of venue will work out for Ohio Midlands. They look to try to pick up their first game here in the series. So off we go in game number two and the quick offense as well. This is a tier five matchup, the Yugi. We'll be looking up that champ two, champ three based on tiers. They're looking to prove themselves more than just champs at LOS champs. They'd be champions of the whole thing. They look to work their way through the season, try to find their way past everybody in their way. So far, it has been the Bozos who have picked up the wins and again, continuing on with this offense, with the aggression, with the challenges, with the shots, but Schnefsky can't put it on the corner and it falls out of the pantry, waiting to be scooped up by DJ Candy, feeling right at home, grabbing something off that top shelf and running away with it. Varso is going to stay up on field. It's the read off Ajax. Varso registering a shot, bouncing out of the corner. Uh, gonna asterisk that one, not gonna lie, but still. This one, Varso, that one, that counts as the shot. We'll call it, but still nil nil, 75 seconds in. But more lively Ohio mid lads in terms of offense. They are able to get it back down over to the half more, starting to stretch the defense of the Bozos, but they may have overstretched themselves up on offense as the Bozos sending it back downtown. About a minute and a half into the game, we find the first goal, courtesy of Ajax. Look to find a regain here for the Ohio mid lads. But we are instead going to see another goal coming in from Renix. Let's take another look at the bounce off, just putting the defense into awkward position and Schnefsky taking wave off the pitch. So no matter the bounce, does not matter too much if the defender is gone. Not much you can do about that when you've been deleted. So it will be the Bozos with a two goal lead again. Ajax midfield to Chnevsky. Connection isn't quite there, but Ajax looking to put in the work to try to keep it going. Barso past the attacking Renix. The Ohio Midlads were able to get out of their half quite a bit to start the game, but since then they have been pushed back over to their own end zone. Over and over again, DJ Candy getting a little bit on it, but could not get it past the net. So Ajax again is going to pick up a goal. We'll try again to get back into this game, but 3-0 was the scoreline at the end of game number one. It's the scoreline in the first half of game two. Bozos picking their way up onto offense, getting some boost steals, holding on to possession. Good communication there. Schnefsky able to put it back onto the back wall. Renix getting out of the way. Runs out of boost. DJ Candy coming back from that third man. Wave is going to get it up to Varso again. Getting demoed. Varso creating the favor onto Schnefsky and trying to get yet another demo rotating back the other way. But the Bozos survive. Bring it down up on offense. Renix looking for a doomsy, but will not be able to sneak it inside that far post. So back to defense they go. As Ohio Midlands looking to try to pick up a goal here. Marcel looking to collect the bounce. Had the bounce, a low boost. Gets bumped by Renix. And Wave passing it, bouncing out of the corner. DJ Candy up early. 
Vishnevsky up as well, cannot catch. Nobody's being caught sleeping on defense. They're awake at all hours of the night to get up and ready to defend the net. So still that 3-0. Vishnevsky try to make something happen here. Ajax taking DJ Candy out, but Wave will get the clear. Back up to an offensive push here for the Bozos. Trying to just get that center, start peppering the net. Schnefsky will inadvertent side flip. Gets a little bit of a doink back, and so DJ Candy will chase that one down. Rocking the NASCAR, he's speedy, catching up to it. Barso running on the right side, just in case something happened, he'd be there to scoop it up. So, minute 20 left, they find themselves on the board. I'll have to get a couple more here in only 80 seconds without giving any up. But Cozy Ajax saved by Wave. Barso deleted, demoed. Wave with the clear out. Ajax is going to keep this pinned back over in the Ohio Midlands half. Final minute remains. Two goal lead for the Bozos. They're looking to try to get a two goal lead in the series as well. Wave bumped. Ajax take that the sky, looking to find another angle on it. Can't drop it down. Renix, bit of an over pursuit on the way back. DJ Candy trying to get the transitional offense going. Has the flick, has the pop, puts it onto the back wall. Renix there gets it past the attacking wave. Suddenly the offense waking up a bit here for Ohio. The defense standing strong as well for Bozos. Oh, still holding on to that lead. Ohio Midlands, they're hunting, they're pushing, they're trying to get it. They may have found it, but no, Renix is going to pick the pocket and keep that lead alive, just snatching the hope away. As we get into the final 10 seconds, Ajax drops its center. Wave looking to try to get the race out. They're running out of time. Game two is going to go the way of the Bozo. It's going to get that 2-0 lead in the series. As the ball touches the earth again, three goals is all the Bozos need. We'll just need to do it one more time to try to get their third win. Not as differential in the shot department this game. As mentioned, the uh, the midlights came out fairly strong at the beginning of the game. Then there was that two-minute gap where the Bozos really popped off and got a little bit more settled back towards then. So Bozos are looking good. They're looking confident in the Ohio midlights. They're getting close. They're getting those connections that are starting to work their way forward. They just got to be that little bit faster to it and... One of the things that's working well for the Bozos as well is they're getting physicality into it. They're getting a couple of demos, they're getting a couple of bumps, and they're going for some of the more ego challenges where it's maybe not necessarily the best challenge, but when you got your defender on the back foot and they're hesitating, you can pounce, and it ends up working out a little bit more often than it should in those situations. The Bozos are reading it, they're doing fairly well in this situation, so we're going to head down to Neo Tokyo and see if the Bozos are going to put it away as Bob's ramen looking down, enjoying the great bowl of noodles, getting some dinner in here in some Thursday Night Rocket League. Game three, a two goal, two zero advantage for the Bozos, looking to put the series away early. Ohio bid lads looking for the reverse sweep to try, it's, or looking for a win here to start, but looking for an eventual reverse sweep to pick up a win on the night. We'll see if they're able to do it. They are back on defense to start, but they get the save, they get the demo, they have possession, and they have a 3v2, but the first challenge there by the Bozos working out well. Ohio Midlads are in fact going to strike first. This time DJ Candy with the assist from Varso Ajax getting harassed by Varso. DJ Candy just right over the top. And he'll sneak that one in inside the post. And we'll get them on the board. 36 seconds into game number three. Of course, they're going to be looking for more. They may have just have it. Ajax got caught looking around. As We'll take another look at it. Is is a little awkward on the rotation. He was just trying to get it turn around to get possession on it. Instead, it is going to sneak past. And Ohio Midlands find themselves up by two early in the game. 
This will be interesting to see how the Bozos react. So very early in game number three, they still have the series lead, but things are very much coming up the way of Ohio. Hello, Wave. Where has this been, my guy? Taking possession on the side, just a quick little scoop and a dash, get it past. And gets demoed at the end, but popping off three goals for Ohio in under a minute. They got one goal through the entirety of the first two games, so maybe they just found the secret connection, the secret concoction to start finding their way through, but we still got four minutes left, and Ajax looking to put it away a little bit himself. He says, hey, 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 no more joking around, no more fun. We're going to go right up top and drop the hammer down. It takes possession and collects it off of the back wall. The Bozos cut into the deficit. It will try to regain that three goal difference wave up quick. The Bozos back trying to get that fourth goal on. Back pass from Barso over to wave. DJ Candy attacking it up. Well, this might be a nice soft touch from Farso. Renix is going to get the play from the side wall. Schnefsky bumped. The wave working their way past. Now with 100 seconds gone in the game, already four goals scored. We saw four in the entirety of game two. We do see a fifth as Renix coming in from the sky, following it down. Let's take another look at that one. Varso trying to get a touch on it, but Renix a little bit lower, able to follow it up, gets the next touch. So a one goal difference. DJ Candy looked to try to get that center off, trying to get things back under control for the Ohio Midlands. So it is getting more and more in favor of the Bozos up on offense. Wave gets the clear out. I'm gonna follow it up with a little bit more. Renix back pass Wave looking for teammate over mid. And Renix there to send it wide. The Bozos defense stepping up quite a bit since that first minute. Much more likely to play the back wall and getting up early. Trying to cut off what the Ohio Midlats have been doing in the midfield. So Wave and Varso are gonna combine. No, Ajax taking Wave out of it. We'll go to 2v3 for the moment. Schnefsky looking to try to set up an equalizer for the Bozos. They wanna put the series away in three. Try to get that aggression going back. They are gonna get the bumps. Another one, Ajax making contact with two thirds of the opposing field. We'll play onto the back wall, Varso. Getting it away from the attacking Renix. This Bozos team pushing real hard to try to get that third goal. Try to get that equalizer and Renix may have just done that, but no, DJ Candy with an excellent save. The follow-up shot from Ajax, not there, but it will still be deep in this Ohio half. The Schnefsky challenging this one's gonna be dangerous for the defense. But it does pinch off to the side. Bozos are knocking, but they may have knocked too far. Schnefsky gets back. It will pause for the moment. It's wave again is going to be looking for someone. A lot of plays coming out of the corner there for the Ohio Midlads. They have not found Pater like they did to start the game. As we get closer and closer to the final minute. DJ Candy onto the back wall. Wave is Mike gonna be able to get something here? And he does and extends the lead back up for the mid lads. DJ Candy throwing the defense into a tizzy. His wave will drop down. Varso really wanted the secure. It is a goal secure, not a steal. But gotta credit DJ Candy with the assist. Too good of a touch for him to lose those points off of that one. So final minute. Bozo's hunting for two goals. To try to find an equalizer, Ohio Midlads. A renewed sense of purpose after dropping the first two games, looking to be a different team. Renix looking to turn this into a different story when instead goes off to the side. Ajax comes off the ceiling. Jake Handy past midfield. Renix will go for a bit of a neutral touch. And Wave will send it off field. Time ticking away. 
in favor of the Ohio Midlads. Is it looking to bring us to a game number four? 20 seconds left. Looking to be the case indeed, unless we see something quick coming in from Bozos. Get to the final 10, but Wave sneaking it back, very likely doing it right there. Schneski does not have boost, needs to get it upfield quick. And Varso down, Renix may be able to get this to a one goal game, but he needs to go quickly, he's taking possession. Wave gets the save to make sure that it is a non-issue. And we will continue to battle around in the midfield for a moment, but ultimately ball hits turf, an offensive explosion for the Ohio Midlads. The first game that the Bozos don't score three points, so, you know, is that meaningful? Maybe. But they are slowed down up on offense, and the Midlands able to keep this series going in their own pace. I mean, picking up a lot of saves in the process as well, a lot of assists coming out, and looking comfortable. They didn't panic throughout the game, and they managed to pick up the win, and really, that's what matters, taking advantage of the situations when they can. Now, the Bozos, they'll be interesting to see if they're able to get back up to those offensive pushes that we saw through the first couple of games. They still put 10 shots on, which... It's not a small number to be able to put on double digit shots through any game, even in a loss, but still, they got to work their way through the defense of the Midlands stepping up in a big way. Six saves, a wave on top, two goals, three saves, and 50% shooting accuracy. So they'll just have to try to keep that going. I like the mix up that they went for. And like I said, just did not panic as the game went, as the series has gone. And they keep it alive as we head on over to Wasteland. To see, are we going to find ourselves with a Champions Field appearance in this second matchup of the night? Or is it going to end in a gentleman's sweep with the Bozos coming out on top? Five minutes to go to find out if there's five more minutes afterwards. And Ajax is going to start it off quickly, but Varso saving it. Renix denied. DJ Candy can't even try. Wave to zero boost. Charging back. Goes for the off speed, but Ajax saves. And a flurry of activity to start off the game. But no goals to be found for it. As the battle continues in Wasteland. Forty seconds in, and we're starting to see a little bit of a difference here. I'm gonna hold our breath, uh, take a moment. Check out what's going on. A uh, couple of these opportunities not quite being taken advantage of. Hopefully pressure not getting to the players too terribly much. The rotation's a little bit sloppy, if I so may say, coming in for both teams, but have not been punished because the shots have not been on target either. But again, if you're not getting scored on, can't worry about it too much. A minute and change into the game. We'll see who will start tightening it up. Looks like it may be the Bozos getting that center in. A double commit on defense, but a powerful touch from Wave will mean that it is not much to be worried about at all. Wave will get another powerful one on it as well. So a lot more space being developed out on the field. A lot of these power touches coming in, a lot of boost being used as well. The players giving that space for it, knowing they can't get up super immediately. Instead, have to play more delibera deliberately with it. They are getting back. Bozos are getting the saves. The follow-up touches. The majority of them ending up being very deep indeed. This one might just dribble on target. Schnevsky cutting across. Already three saves for each team. Five shots coming in for Ohio so far compared to the three of Bozo. So their offense has been slowing down, if only because it's been getting stifled so quickly. But Schnevsky back wall. Look at the pass, the back wall. Favorable real estate for team plays. But they cannot quite find a purchase. They're only a rental and they got kicked out. So they'll have to try to find a, a new property to stake a claim on. Renix is going to go hunting for it. Ajax coming along for the ride he gets the flick but it will eventually go in flutters in the middle of the net for the moment but ultimately enough velocity on it to go in a slight touch there from wave 
I don't think it ultimately affected the results of the play. But the Bozos do strike first. Took a, took a little longer in game four than the previous three games for anybody to find purchase, but that is not too terribly uncommon as series develop. So we're just gonna look to try to get another couple of goals here and not let it get to a game five where things get a little bit murkier and a lot more factors start coming into play throughout the game. They do still have possession of the ball, low on boost, big on spirit. They got the dog in the fight chasing it down, but DJ Candy looks to try to play a different tune with it. Trying to get it down over to Wave. Wave gets the boost deal, does not get the ball. It gets it on the follow-up though. To try to scoop something, might have an angle, but the quick challenge by Schnefsky. We're gonna close the door on it. So to the final 80 seconds of game number four. Not as many shots being registered here in Wasteland. Sometimes you only need one. And right now one is all that the Bozos have needed to get to the final 60 seconds, potentially the final 60 seconds of this series. DJ Candy dropping it down over to Varso. Varso looking to find it back over to Candy, Ohio Midlads. Again, they're hunting. They have that offensive explosion in game three. They may have expended what they had available. We'll have a moment here of three on two. Two players are gonna be up. Varso is gonna commit from the third man. Maybe a little early to pull the goalie, but Schnefsky low boost could not get back in time. And Wave will cut it off regardless. So we'll have another opportunity come up here. They can find their way past the defense. Bozos are doing exactly what they need. Varso looking for a bit of an off angle. It's gonna bounce awkwardly. Wave is going to get the final touch. Just a little bit extra in the fennec. He dropped the back door of the hatchback. And that's enough to get it past the defense. Get us to a tied game. 13 seconds left. Will it be lucky or unlucky 13 for the Ohio Midlads? We are inching closer and closer to overtime, but Ohio pushing. Looking to try and sneak something out here in regulation, but back to defense. Plays out of the corner. This one will almost stay alive for the moment, but alas, to overtime we go. In a winner go home situation for Ohio. One life left in the tank for the Bozos. They don't want to get too close to it. They look like they looked like they didn't need it, but an inadvertent touch is instead going to send it back the other way. Is Wave just going to punish? But no, it is going to bounce back. Wave again. Schnevsky outfield chaos breaking out. This is threes, and yet nothing but chaos. Renix will finally get it in. 26 seconds into overtime. One of the more chaotic overtimes that I have seen in recent days, not going to lie but ultimately goes the way of the Bozos. They hunt it down in front of the net and get that final touch in to put the series away. And again, very close matches. The first one, a little bit more rough, but after that, starting to get closer and closer as the Ohio Midlads picking up the pace, getting into speed of the matchup and throwing a lot of what the Bozos were bringing back in their faces and keeping it Keeping it competitive, keeping it pushing, ultimately falling short in overtime of game number four. So, again, GG's well played. Congrats to the Bosos for their victory. Trying to get that Z in there, but the Bosos. Try not to throw off the name too terribly much. So, we'll look to see if we can get an interview going on with one of the winners. So, but again, GG's. I see in the chat there, Ajax, well played. So, the uh, through near the end, it was a. Uh, it was a bit chaotic, not going to lie, um, but it is what it is. So again, congrats on the win. And that's what ends up mattering in the long run is who wins. And that one, I was really curious to see how it would go if we ultimately went to Champions Field, if it hit the game five. But that's going to be a question that we're not going to have to ask. And Ajax are in the stream chat in the booth as well for the interview. Ajax been known each other for quite some time one of the first times i've gotten to uh admit this i think this is the first time for a post-game interview if i'm not mistaken i think so yeah pretty sure yeah well 
congrats on the win. It was a well fought one. Uh, looked fairly well out there. Like I like the uh, the teamwork, the team play that I saw coming out from you guys throughout the series. Yeah, no, Ranix really head, heads that up. He's a big proponent for like team play and all that, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, I gotta ask. So I noticed the name change, Cozy Ajax. Is that just like yes. the vibe you're going for? Is uh, that like a what's what's the story? Nah, so the thing is, I changed it for the holidays because I thought, you know, it's festive and all that, and I just have not changed it back. And at this point, it's I'm just going for it for the meme. So, That's yeah. fair. I have a, <laughs> I, I have I never put away my Halloween decorations. I just taped them up underneath with the overhang on my porch, and I could just like cut the tape and put them right back down. But That's oh, genius. I but, love that. <laughs> it's called laziness, but again, congrats on that. I you brought out the point right away. The uh, kind of like the the roles that you guys play is it it. Uh, Rocket League is one of the more, you can argue if it's a position-based game or if it's position-less. There are, you know, arguments to be had both ways. Are there specific roles that you guys like to go for that you guys are, like, more comfortable with that, like, helps lead to victories like this? Or what kind of, what's the uh, the vibe between the three of you? I think generally when it's working well, Schnefsky is generally the one back, at the back. So he's he's the backbone of our team, I think. He always stays back, prevents those off uh, shots from being goals. Renix is definitely farther pushed up. He's always been aggressive. He likes to cut rotations and try and get some uh, great offensive plays. And then I just do whatever the hell. I can do both. I can, you know, I'm a flex player, I would say. Yeah, just see ball, touch ball, bing, bang, sling, sling, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's... Monkey. Turbo Pulsa talking to <laughs> It's one of my favorite quotes of all time in RL Esports. But um, no, again, congrats on the win. The uh, just gotta ask, like, how? I mean, I know obviously I've known you guys for a while. You've done well. I mean, vibes for the season. I mean, they gotta be going well. How are things feeling going forward? Oh no, yeah, we're definitely keeping it light. We haven't practiced for a while. We we just practiced like a day ago, and that was it for the past like week. We haven't really been doing enough recently, but we should be picking that up. We have been playing together for a while but we've generally been very off and on so we could never get like too much chemistry so i'm hoping that can change when now that we're in a league and all that and playing in a league environment absolutely helps and there's yeah. no doubt about that and it is summer too Every, you know plans are all over the place for a lot of people <laughs> so again congrats love to see you here happy to have seen you on screen so for the end of it the floor is yours any shout outs you want to give go for it I got to shout out Renix and Schnefsky, two incredible players. And of course, Midnight Gaming. Uh, we do not actually play for that org, but uh, I am one of the co-owners for that org. So uh, check it out. And then I can also shout out me if you're looking for another caster, along with Alligator Saurus. Uh, <laughs> we can duo cast for you. And I'd be down whenever. Just hit me up, Ajax888 on Discord. Yeah. Hashtag self promo, but absolutely, <laughs> the floor, no, absolutely. So glad to hear it. Thanks for the shout out as well. Congrats. Go enjoy a nice evening after picking up a well fought win. Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you for the cast. Take it easy. Peace. Alrighty. So that was Ajax from Bozos coming in to share some thoughts after the series and after picking up that win in four games. But that just because that series ended does not mean that we are done for the night. We got one more matchup coming underway. We have a 2v2 tier 6 match coming up at the top of the hour. Ronin versus Nebulax Purple are going to be coming in to find out who's going to be the final victor here on the LOS Champs Thursday evening stream. We got a little bit of a break until we get there, but don't go too far. Look forward to seeing all of you in chat when we get the next matchup going here in a bit. Till then, I'll see you in like 20 minutes. I don't know why I did the till then. So, <laughs> Yoki's pulled the plug.